All right, so today we're going to create a new project called Ghost Soaker. So to create a new project, click the New Project button. A dialog box is going to appear, and uh, you just name your project. You can always name it something later, but for right now, we'll just put Ghost Soaker. Now, the rest of these, uh, we, it, it's going to be a pixel art game, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Optimize for Pixel Art and create the game. Now, you have a canvas here where you can, you know, scroll in and out of um, using your mouse wheel. So this space here would be the entire game, while this dotted line shows where the viewport is. So that's just what the player sees. We have the property panels to the left, the project panel to the right, and the layout panel over here. If you ever accidentally click out of any of these panels, you can always go to the menu and go to uh, view, bars, and click on it. It will allow you to move it around and lock it to a space. So we get started by putting in objects. The first thing we'll do is add a tiled background. So if I double click the top here, it brings up the create new object menu. So I'm going to scroll down to where we have general and I say tiled background. So I'm going to insert. Now it brings a crosshair. This tells you where you want to put it. Uh, for this we're going to resize things so it really doesn't matter, so, but I'll click in there. So this is our tile or our sprite editor that has popped up. Right now we've already made the different sprites, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. So if I open this, it should show me right here Ghost Soaker, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in the background, the BG tile, the background. I don't need to do anything to it. If we wanted to, we could hair brushes, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and click the X, and here we have our tile. Now if you notice, we've got the properties panel. Since this is selected, we show over here the different properties. So the position, just like in a coordinate plane, we're going to give it our point of origin, which is going to be 0, 0. Notice it automatically puts it to the top left-hand corner. That's going to be the point of origin for this. And as far as size, the size of the um, entire canvas here uh, is 1708 by 960. And that covers the entire canvas. One thing we don't want to do, we don't want to be able to click it and drag it around from here on out. That's going to mess with our point of origin, right? So you can always control Z to undo something. But here we're going to right click on the object and just say, hey, lock this in place. We're going to go ahead and put in our other objects while we're at it. So uh, you can either right click or double click on the, the canvas. We insert a new object. We're going to insert a sprite. Crosshairs, we click again. Open. And this next one will do the player. Here's our player and he's got his uh, retro super soaker here that we're going to use to squirt water onto the monsters. Right. Insert a new object, sprite, insert, now let's put a monster in, insert a new object. This time for these next two objects, it's not something we want the player to see on the screen at the start. So we're going to move it off the screen. I got my crosshairs up here. We're going to open our water and our explosion. That way when the instance is created, it doesn't, um, you don't see an initial uh, uh, sprite show up at the very beginning of the game. It's off screen, but it's still in the game so that it's an object that we can edit and uh, manipulate, add behaviors to, things like that. Here's our explosion one. Two more things to add. So if we click insert new object, we're going to add input now. So we're going to use both the keyboard, insert new object, and the mouse for this game. One last thing before we get to behaviors and events, um, we're going to rename our sprites over here to the right uh, just to make it easier for us. So this first one, 
if you you know click on it, it will bring up the rename. So just rename it player. You can also right click and say rename, which is going to be monster. water and explosion.